All right, so this is day two and we're well underway, proper stuck in. It's just me on my lonesome. Uh, builder will be coming down shortly. Uh, we need to get the uh, the digger in first, you know, so there's access to the back for our accommodation. So yeah, well stuck in and I'm just gonna show you what I've been up to this morning. Basically, we're starting top to bottom uh, it's going to completely rip it out, going to have a nice vaulted ceiling, uh, but to do that you've got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette, so yeah, check out this chaos. So <laughs> yeah, we've got, uh, this is the clean room, we've got a clean room in here, tools and you know, somewhere I can at least have a butty and, a, and sit down, but eventually all this is going to get ripped out. And uh, yeah, some of the carnage. So, got set up, got my tunes on, got my uh, dust mask on, and uh, yeah, so started taking out the ceiling, revealing some of the purlins. It's just a lot easier to get up and in though, we kick it down. Not the first time I've done this. I do say, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> the stresses of, uh, of property investing early on, getting uh, bridging finance and all that good stuff. Oh, the paperwork, man, so stressful, but yeah, looking all right. So this is one half. And I'm gonna update you when it's finished at the end of the day. So this is probably a good hour and a half's work. So yeah, taking all these joists out. We're gonna try and support these existing beams. And instead of having a suspended roof, we're gonna get rid of it and have a nice vaulted ceiling. Get some uh, proper insulation in there. I'm quite happy with the roof condition so far. Uh, the felt is holding up nicely. The tiles are good. It's just a case of, you know, we need uh, repositioning, we should say. And there was a little bit of damp here when I found the cause, and it is right the if you go to daylight. So it's nice, easy fix. Right, we'll see how we get on with the rest of the day. You know what, I love these videos on YouTube and Facebook, drop my mask, and it's not very often that mm, it happens in reality. So <laughs> I'm actually uncovering the stairs underneath and there's something there. It may not be that interesting, but it appears to be carpet, but we'll find out. So let's check. It's not carpet. Probably a good reason why I should be recording this because of something weird.
quite a funky little feature. I still actually don't know what's in it, but I thought I'd let you have a look. It's an understairs hidden somewhat of a cloak room. Let's have a look what's in here. I'm actually a little bit skeptical, if that's the right word. Zig oil. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, let me get some lighting. There's one on the end of this, you see. I do this. Bit of copper. Take that out. And this cloak back. So you look at that and you think it's something of like a, a Harry Potter. I'm quite excited. This is uh, pretty cool. The most interesting thing I've done today. What the? What is that? <laughs> it's good to pick it up. Anything? Don't know. I think that's the coolest find. That's cool. I'll have another look at that in a minute. Mm. I am a bit of a wuss when it comes to things like this. I absolutely despise spiders. So, let's have a look. So, there's no dead bodies. How's the bag? You can't be that old. Bag is that. Let's get it. I'm not sure what that is. There is a box. Cables. Cables out of the way. Morris Minor 1000. Cool. I know somebody who's got one of them. So we're gonna off on a bit of a tangent here. Uh, hopefully. Let's have a look. TV display. Never heard of that. 
bit. Spray that. Uh, Fishbowl. Two taps. So, no gold, no treasure, but I know potentially someone who might be happy with that. Where's my Mark II Austin? Yeah, with new inbox. I say it's more, it's more the quirky interest. You know, you start boarding something like that up, and obviously me who uncovers it, you think, oh man, what could be behind that? But yeah, oh, that's cool. It's made me day that actually. So yeah, don't know. Some people might think, oh, he's sad, but <sighs> retro. All right, so finished for the day. Uh, I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, done my eight-o shift. Um, not so many breaks, but uh, yeah, I'll just show you what we've been up to. So I've just decided to do one half at the minute. So all the way, what was going to be the clean room has <laughs> now uh, turned into a bit of a yeah, bit of a mess room. So I figured make an opening there and everything will pile up and chuck all that in the skip so yeah that's that ripped out little adventure under the stairs up here quite impressed with the progress got another pile there for the skip and that is all the roof taken out so like i said we're well impressed with the uh condition of the roof some beams need replacing it's worth mentioning the uh these timbers are going to get sprayed because they have had woodworm in them but the majority seem to be pretty strong just need a few reinforcements, that type of thing. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for the day. As always, if you'd uh, like, share and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on the video, any questions you might have, much appreciated. So yeah, uh, as always, if you'd uh, like the channel, subscribe, and um, just let me know your feedback. Any questions you might have, uh, let me know and I'll respond. Cool.